feeling. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't sleep too good myself last night. Why, what's wrong? I was worried about you, of course. Look, I know what you did the other night. Oh. Well, Dad was on the phone to her last night. At least he said he can't see her at the moment. Look, can I get you anything? No, thanks, babes. We'll have a cup of tea oh, at least. I don't want anything. Wait. Shouldn't you be in bed? I'm not tired. You'll we'll get some sleep. You look awful. I'd rather have the company. Look, Mum, I can get the morning off school. There's no need for that, Sharon. I can look after you, Mum. It's only geography and French, Dad. I can get it off Tracy later. I don't want you to take any time off school, especially with your exams coming up. We could say I'm at the dentist. Thanks for the offer, darling. But perhaps it's best if you go in. All right. I'll go and get my stuff ready. I've got to do something, Dad. I've been thinking. Oh, yeah, wonders will never cease. I've been thinking that we should spend a lot more time together. Yeah? Maybe we could take the car out, go to Epping Forest. It's too cold, then. Or we could go have a lunch somewhere, just the two of us. Oh, I'm not hungry. You've got to eat something. Maybe. I wasn't expecting to wake up, then. I thought I'd had my twirl on this planet. I know I said it was an accident, but... Oh, I know, I know. I'd just given up. Thrown the towel in. Things are going to be better. Are they? Well, you've moved back. I suppose that's something. Bit early in the day for me to start drinking, then. Yeah, but I thought it'd be good for you to have a drop of brandy around the place. Medicinal purposes. You didn't come here to look after my health, though, did you? No. So? It's about Ange. Yes, I'd work that one out. If it had been Sharon, you'd talk to over between yourselves, or Ange would come over here and talk to Pauline. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to bother you with this, Lou, but uh, there's no one else I can ask. Oh, you get an honest answer from me. You may not like it, but it'll be the truth. This is between me and you. I don't want it broadcast around the square. Go on. Ange took a load of pills the other night. I got to her just in time. I thought she was going to die. Why did you stop her? Eh? Hey? You heard me. Well, I couldn't just stand by and watch her kill herself. Why not? That's what she wanted. Seems to me it would have suited you too. Made things easier between you and your fancy woman. I'm not that callous, Lou. No. I think it would have been kinder in the long run. The truth is that Angie's got to the end of her tether. Unless you're going to do something about that, she's going to try and try again until one day she's going to succeed. Oh, no, 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 no. Things are going to get better from now on. Are you sure? If Angie had died, everyone would have pointed the finger at you. Did you love her? Yeah. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it, and I don't think she knows that, else it wouldn't have happened. Do you want me to tell you what to do? Care. 24 hours a day. Not when it suits you. Not when you haven't had a row with your girlfriend, but permanent. Something which I don't think you're capable of then. You're going to have to try. Yeah, I know. I'm going to give you a hand. I might want you to understand this. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for her. Because dead or alive, Angie's worth ten of you. I know. I remember you when you was a kid at school. I never trusted you then. I see no reason to change my opinion now. How's your drink, Tony? I didn't order one. On the ass. Oh. For old time's sake. Hey, cheers. I, um... I want you to have a little talk with you. Mm -hmm. I did a really stupid thing the other day. Nothing unusual about that, I suppose. What are you talking about, Ange? I let you a right old dance, didn't I? Ah, come on. It's water under the bridge, Alex. No, it wasn't fair. I was just trying to get at Den. Trying to reach him. Ah, maybe he's not worth it. 
Oh, there's no maybe about it. He's definitely not worth it. He's a bastard. So? Maybe you've learned something at last. No, I've always known what he was like. Don't seem to make any difference, does it? You know, Ange, you can do a lot better than that. There's a lot of men who would know how to treat a girl like you. Queuing up at the doors, are they? Oh. There's one sitting not a million miles away from you now. Trouble is, Tom. There's only one bloke for me, isn't there? And we both know that. So? What are we talking about? Well, what do you do when you play your trump card and it's still not enough? Excuse me. No good. Don't know. Just not in the mood, I suppose. Look, I am pleased, Kelvin. About your exams. Uh, yeah, but you're still thinking about your mum. Yeah. Do you want to go home? I don't know what to do for the best. I offered to take the morning off school, but she wouldn't have it. It's up to Dad to try and bing around, really. And he doesn't want to. I think he's trying. He's just got out of the habit, that's all. Hello, oh, love. Got on all right, did you? No trouble. Mind you, you want to put your foot down about these kids dossing down in here? It's meant to be a laundrette, not a social club. Don't worry, we're just going. You can see where Nick gets his charm from. 